All right, welcome to Bass Assessment. Uh, today we're going to be learning quickly how to do a benchmark assessment system, as I said, known as Bass. This is for grades uh, K through 2, and sometimes students are a little older. Uh, this is the benchmark assessment system 2, or Bass 2, for grades 3 to 8. And I'll, you'll understand these numbers, uh, the letters, a little bit clearer in just a moment of where to start form. This gives you your levels, and they match. In the book, we have beginning word list, beginning word list, level one word list, level one word list, and it goes on sequentially through the word list. So, if we were going to begin, I would set the student down, and we would begin to read. The student would read, you would mark, miss or got it, good, it, good, 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 good. And then at the big bottom here, you'd say how many they got correct. So this student got 19 of 20 correct. Then you'd move on to the second list. You'd keep track of how many they missed on here. So let's say the student just missed a couple, maybe three. So this student got 17 of 20. Then they start reading at level two and they're missing a significant about more than that. And again, this is just a hypothetical student that we're matching. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten correct. We'll miss a couple more and make that nine. So you'd have nine of twenty, and you'd have seventeen of twenty. So you'd take this information, then I'm going to introduce you to the folder that allows you to find where you'd find your information. So we would go over here. This folder is all preset and done for you. So you'll look at this folder. I've taken it apart so that you'll be able to see it more clearly. But that's what it looked like for you. And you look at the Bass 1 list. And as you notice, here's the, the chart right here we want to look at. This is the important chart. So we'll look number of correct 6 to 10 level 2 again level 2 level 2 6 to 10 correct that means you will begin on test F so you will test this student on test F and that will I'll show you what that means in the BAS system uh, one in just a second so now we'll move over here we've established we need a test F we'll come over here to the box, and if you see right here, C, D, E, F, we'll put the back. You'll have two books in here. You'll have a fiction and a nonfiction. Now, for our purposes, we have selected to take the fiction level, I believe, and its new glasses. You'd give the assessment, you'd put the student's name on the assessment and it gives you a little blurb here that you're supposed to read to the student uh, as an introduction then you put your name and all the pertinent information for the student take the students on a picture walk allow them to interact with the book a little bit you don't need to point out any details but you, they can look through the book then you'll do it's just like uh, keeping track the student will begin reading you will track the words if they have any errors. Now there's two different ways to do this. You can do a basic run. You have your self-correct or your errors. Now this part is a higher level. You're welcome to do that. I'm not going to give us instruction in that today, but just for a quick level, we're just going to count the errors. So if you have just a basic record, as we have three errors here. Now if they had a self-correct, you know, you might mark and then go self-correct, then you'd mark that there doesn't count as an error for our levels though. So then you come back here and read. And if you'll notice right here, if the student is missing this E24, if a student's missing more than 24, that means this test is too hard and you'll want to go back to a previous test. So here in our example, we're just going to make some marks here. Let's say they miss glasses a lot. I just couldn't get that word. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, 
six. And glasses, glasses, glasses. But then they may have started getting it. One, two, three, four. Let's say it's one. And that's two total. One, one. So that would be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like we have eleven total errors here. And then they might have got a few more. Eleven, twelve. 14, uh, and say a total of 15 errors after you've added it up. This is where you look right back here, and you see that they got 93% uh, with 15 errors. You'd mark right there. Now you take your test, and you move over to back to our chart, and you look under here. This says that the instructional level for a BAS 1 is 93%. That's falling between 90 and 94%. And then you talk, we do have some comprehension questions that I'll cover in just a minute. But so far, this is looking like an instructional level for this student. On the back, you have uh, some prompts about what happened in the story, your comprehension of the story. And you, uh, as a teacher, will make that determination of where that level is. So if you feel the accuracy and the, has good comprehension, um, you want to pick this as an instructional level. For my recommendation for how I did this, this student would be a level F. And I uh, would mark it, level F on the front there. Now, you could go into some of the other stuff, but again, this is when you're doing many, many students you want to, you, you know, you're going to have to get it done pretty quick if it's just on you. You can go more in depth if you would like, and there's more to it, and I would encourage you to look at that on uh, the Fontes and Pinnell website uh, to continue uh, learning how to bass students. Thank you. Bass two procedures exactly the same, uh, just you're using bigger words basically and a different system of words. Um, you can start at list two, list three, list four. But you kind of adapt to the student. If you have a higher student, you certainly want to move them up quickly to where you can get a better uh, level on it. You'll do the same procedure. You'll go over here to the BAS 2. You'll take your word list, determine which word list you're on and how many they got correct, matching up with where you are on your list. If you're on list 5 and you got uh, 11 to 15 correct, you would test them on level Q. If, in the case of the one that I've pulled here, a level L, uh, you would, they would have got on list three, they would have got 16 to 20 correct, and we would pull the test for level L, which is what I have here. This is the level L text. Then you'd come here, get your test ready beforehand, then pull your book, a level L book, if I can get in there when it may not be in there today because someone else is testing so anyway same procedure you do the running record on it errors correct look through it but I did want to point one thing out that's different about the bass 2 when you get to here you have to be a little bit more careful because the accuracy rate for instructional levels a little bit higher than on the bass 1 if you notice the instructional levels uh, just above 90 but on the BAS 2, you have to be at 95%. But I did want to point one thing out that's different about the BAS 2. When you get to here, you have to be a little bit more careful because the accuracy rate for instructional levels is a little bit higher than on the BAS 1. If you notice, the instructional level is uh, just above 90. But on the BAS 2, you have to be at 95% accuracy. So you want to make sure you're paying close attention to how many errors they got and make sure you figure out the correct instructional level to make those determinations about the level uh, the student.